Hi guys, so today I'm going through my kitchen essentials. So I'm gonna go fridge, freezer and pantry, but today I am in my studio kitchen, so it may be a little bit different to your kitchen at home, but still the same principles will apply. So come on in. So we're gonna start with my fridge now. My fridge is looking a little bit empty, but <laughs> empty for me anyway. Basically, the first thing you'll probably see of my fridge is that I have some fresh herbs in the door of my fridge. And this is a really easy tip because fresh herbs never really last that long in the fridge. So a really quick tip on how to keep them fresher for longer is to pop them into a glass with some water and make sure you cut them off at the roots and then pop them in the water and they will last for about a week or two weeks in the fridge. A word of warning, although, is to put them in in the door of the fridge or at the bottom because at the top of the fridge is the coldest place so make sure you don't put them up there because they will wilt. Basil is also not a player in this game. Basil just doesn't work. So <laughs> the next section of my fridge is something that I absolutely love clearly is curry. So I've got all my curries, pastes and powders up here. They're really, really simple and easy to use when things are like lacking flavor like burgers or a fish burger or something like that. I always put like a teaspoon of that in as a little tip or trick that it just it makes everything taste delicious and then I basically have my like dips and my Mediterranean sort of stuff up there and then I've got my dairy and my cheeses and my butter as well in the middle section you can obviously section your fridge how you like I just like having things easy ready to go so that when people are in here they can just grab and run another tip is that a lot of people don't put their bread or their wraps in the fridge and then they go stale when they're outside on the counter so pop them in the fridge and they'll last for at least two weeks longer yeah I've got three packets in here and they've been in there for ages and then something I love having in my fridge all the time have to have it is my protein balls or bliss balls so I basically make a batch every week and then I just grab and go when I need it um, they're a really good snack to have especially when you're on the go so lastly I have my veggies so I've got my veggie drawer I usually buy all the long life stuff like carrots onions, garlic, sweet potatoes, all of that kind of stuff that I buy that in bulk because they last much longer. So next up is my freezer and I absolutely love using my freezer because I love making things in bulk and also buying things in bulk. So the freezer does wonders for me. First up is my veggies drawer. So I basically, when I have a lot of things in bulk, I blanch them and then I pop them into little Ziploc bags and then I put them in here. So when veggies are on sale, um, you can definitely save some money this way. So you can pretty much put that straight into some boiling water or even just straight into like a soup or a stir fry or a pan and that'll defrost and cook and it's really really simple and easy to use. So this is my favorite drawer out of the whole freezer. It is my stocks, soups and pasta sauces drawer. So I love making things in bulk for a quick and easy dinner. So right there I talk about ease and convenience and this is basically where it's at. So I've just made a massive lentil soup which is in bear and I've packaged it into single serves and then popped it in the freezer for a quick and easy dinner. Another money saving tip, my tomatoes, I had bought them in bulk, I hadn't used them so what I did is I pureed them and then I popped them in here for a really easy tomato sauce pasta which is delicious and I can't wait to use these. So next up we have my frozen fruit drawer. So I've got some strawberries, bananas, blueberries, mangoes, anything basically I can find, I pop in there. So if strawberries or blueberries or any of those are on sale and you want them fresh, grab them, cut them, wash them, chuck them into some Ziploc bags and then pop them into the freezer. They are such a money saving tip and really easy and delicious when you need a quick smoothie. That is my freezer done and I'm gonna get up before my legs break. So. <laughs> Hope you like that one. This is half of my pantry. Again, I am in my studio kitchen, so it's a little bit different to your normal household. But I do this anywhere. I buy things in bulk, like canned goods, stocks, posada sauces. I buy my noodles and my rice all in bulk because you will definitely use it. So first up is basically my diced tomatoes that I use every single day. Um, these are like tin crushed tomatoes. They're so easy to use. I buy them in bulk. You often find me at the store asking the guys for the pallet at the back because I will buy them all. They're so useful and they're so versatile. So these are definitely a must have in your kitchen. Things like canned goods like lentils and corn and black beans and kidney beans chickpeas it's so good to have in your cupboard because they are so versatile so I always buy these in bulk where I can next up I've got my rice and my noodles and I buy them in bulk again because I just use them so much um, clearly 
five kilo bag of Arborio rice. <laughs> so I will use that probably in a week. So this is my most proudest bit of my pantry, which is my spice pantry and my dry goods. I absolutely love this. Any single one of my meals you'll see in Bear has a load of delicious spice that makes it just taste good. And that's what we want healthy eating to be, is to taste amazing. And this will definitely help you. I went and bought little containers from Ikea or one of those stores that just have them. This is me anticipating I'll need more spice. <laughs> um, bought little containers that I can put my spice into and then I can label them really nicely. You can see all of the top row here is all labeled and it's all looking amazing. So that I've got as much spice as I possibly can. Obviously in your house, you don't need that many. So if you're wondering what spices that I love to start off with in my kitchen, I'm gonna pick out my favorites and then I'm gonna show you. So I picked cinnamon for all your stuff, like your breakfast or something that wants sweeter, like porridge or overnight oats. That's a really great option to have in the house. Salt and pepper are complete staples. You should definitely have them. Salt enhances flavor and pepper gives it a delicious like spice to it. Dried oregano is something that I get from my grandma's kitchen. It literally goes on absolutely everything and it goes with everything. So it's really a versatile herb. So if you can find it, definitely get that one. My obsession with curry is like obvious in this section. <laughs> curry powder is definitely a staple in my house. I put it in literally everything. Because I love chili, I love putting cayenne pepper in things and also chili flakes. So either or I love to use. So that's a really good one to have in your house because obviously fresh chilies don't last as long. So cayenne pepper or chili flakes is a really good option. Um, I have thyme leaves, so they're really good in like pasta sauces and soups. A really, really versatile one as well. So they're great on stuff like chicken as well. My last but not least is rosemary. A lot of people are lucky enough to have a rosemary bush in their house. That's an amazing, if you have fresh rosemary, that's great, but dried is just as good. So they're really, really good on things like potatoes and roast vegetables and you know, roast meats and all that kind of stuff. That's a really perfect herb. So they're my, basically my basics to start off a spice cupboard and then you end up like with one like mine. <laughs> it's also really awkward because I have more spice over here when those run out because I'm crazy lady. This is how much I love my chili flakes. They're my favorite. But anyway, my stuff like my grains, so my lentils, quinoa, my couscous, anything like that, I put in jars and I store because they last forever. So don't be afraid to buy a big packet and store them in your cupboard. So that's it, a little tour of my studio kitchen. I hope you learned a thing or two. Check out resources for more of my kitchen essentials.